I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I am talking about the dynamism of wealth. I said in some other videos that money is fluid. It flows from persons to persons. But let me read Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong neither yet bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happened to them all. This is awesome. Now, I will try to explain that and still have in mind that we read from Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18, that it is the Lord that gives power to make wealth. Now, what is power? That is, from Ecclesiastes chapter 9 we read, it is not your skill, it is not your brilliance and all that that gives you wealth or whatever. But if we marry the two scriptures, we will see that God gives power to make wealth. What is power? Power is the ability to achieve a task. That is, you have to have the ability, the capacity from God to create wealth. Now, what is power? Power can refer to authority to perform a task. I don't have the authority to be the Speaker of the House of Assembly of Nigeria. But the day, I mean, of the House of Assembly in Delta State. But the day the House of Assembly invites me to come and give them a lecture, I now have authority to speak to both the Speaker and the members of the legislative arm of government. If, as a medical doctor, the governor comes for treatment, your Excellency, can you remove your trousers, please? Can you remove your panties, please? Please pull off your shirt, lie down. I am controlling the governor because I have authority as a physician based on my skills. So, power describes the ability to control. Wealth is controlled. Wealth is controlled, yeah? And it's, it's also the ability to control and influence people. If you don't understand, you buy because somebody has influenced you. I see young men wear jeans trousers that have holes that look worn out. Somebody has worn it on television and has influenced you through adverts to wear that dress. A lot of the things you buy, you buy them emotionally. If they just say in Phoenix, so, 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 you will rush and buy. Uh, when, during Harry Potter's time, people were sleeping, queuing in the night to buy Harry Potter. It is an influence on your brain. So the ability to control influence and create a crowd or an audience that is willing to be influenced by you will make them buy from you. So when I listen to young men dance to Afrobeat, most times I don't understand what they are singing. I don't, understand, I don't even hear the wordings, but our young men in Delta State here, they will be singing Yoruba Afro beats. You will see the boy that does not understand Yoruba is dancing. And I wanna, I wanna drink my alcohol. Uh, you will see our young girls. So today, if you want to make money, it's your ability to control and to influence people. To control and influence circumstances. If you know how to influence circumstances, you will get wealth. If you know how to
control and influence events, you will make world. Big Brother Ninja, they make world from us because, not, not me, those who listen, because they have known how to control and influence people and events. Oh, football is hyped. Football is hyped. Black Friday is hyped. Christmas is hyped. Easter is hyped. There was no Valentine Day when I was growing up. Valentine Day is hyped. So those who know how to hype events, control events, control people's emotions and desires, and, and manipulate them to have a patronizing audience, they are the ones who hold money, who make money. And to influence circumstances, they make money. So if you don't have this ability, you don't have this authority, it's difficult to create wealth. So, as godly people, we must know how to control this positively, to influence people positively, to control, I didn't say manipulate, control people positively, influence events positively, and circumstances positively to the extent that the people are willing to release their money to you that is how you gain wealth do you understand me it's not by shaking your head it's not by just speaking in tongues power also can be defined as skills to achieve a task so for you for money to flow in your direction I have said that in one of my videos, you will need skills, information, intelligence, techniques, and technology. Five. Once you get these five things in your hand, you can make money. So, you also need skills to manage affairs, manage affairs. That's why you see those at the top management level in banks in America and the UK, they get big bonuses. While those who really do the work in the factories don't get so much. So the ability, the skills to manage affairs, the skills to manage materials, and manage people will bring wealth. Power is defined as the rate of doing a task. So, if you can achieve tasks at minimal cost by good management of materials, men and people moments, if you do it at a faster rate, you will make money. YouTube is making money because they have brought television stations to our phones. So I have a channel that you listen to. WhatsApp is making money because communication is enhanced by them. Cellular phones. So the rate, any nation that does things fast, that can produce technology for things to be done fast, will make wealth. Why slower nations? with bureaucracy and all kinds of hindrances, obscurantism, obstructionism, will not be wealthy. So what rate are you doing things? Once you can increase the rate, I talk to more people now than doing crusade. I talk to more people than, I preach to more people than running a church. I've increased the rate at which I reach people. It's a power that can create wealth. In the next video, I will talk about how to manage that time and chance happens to them all. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. We are looking at the dynamism of wealth. It is not what they teach you in church. This is the reality. Send a message to me on plus 234-7052. 6763. God bless you.